This that jam that you bumping in the car on the radio Friends so disgusted wonder how the hell they play it Then Damn. secretly you know they're gonna save it to their playlist Dance to it alone and claim they hate it hate Later that. be the one to say I like when they were nameless uh. Like I was listening before they were famous Hey guys, my name is Luis And welcome to the day in my life video So if you're interested in what the day in the life of a bad student is like Then watch the end of the video to find out We bounce with our friends like this Hit the beach with the sun on our back and the tunes all in yeah. Grateful to this how we live Time and money just to hear it at a festival Play it in the car at a party, show your friends it's the best of all. Get the old score out the way, you know what's getting played. Hit the play, I spin every day. And they made a radio song, knowing that we'll sing along. We so basically, my job in internal medicine is to shadow the resident around and allow them to show me the ropes of how they handle their patients. So for every floor of the hospital, there's a census of the amount of patients. So I'm supposed to have a copy of my own. This is in addition to the progress notes, which I can access through the hospital Wi-Fi. As I go on grounds with my assigned resident, as they follow around the consultants that pass by the floors, I get to encounter different patients and see how they do a history taking and physical exam. Sometimes the resident will allow me to do the history and PE myself after they've done it, and this allows me to practice my history taking skills as well as my physical exam skills on actual patients. So currently on break on duty now. Um, just went over some few cases and rounds with the patient. And it's mainly just cardiology cases because I am one of the cardiology floors. So now I'm just gonna get lunch and then I have a morbidity and mortality conference later at noon. I afraid to let go uh, You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, Suicide if you ever try to let me go I'm sad I know, yeah I'm sad I know, yeah Who am I? Someone that's afraid to let go uh, You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, Suicide if you ever try to let me go I'm sad I know, yeah I'm sad I know, yeah I gave her every she took my heart and left me lonely I've been broken, hearts confesses I won't fix, I'd rather wait I'm lost and I'm found But it's such a being in love I love when you're around But you know I hate when you leave brought this home, carried this all the way home from school. I think for rest day I'm gonna go shower first, uh, do my Aki cards and like study a bit for the rest of the week, study this, some of the cases that I encountered today and I have a quiz later this week so I have to also prepare for that and maybe I'll do a little drama on the end. So just finished my Anki cards. I think I'm gonna take a nap first before continuing my study session. So I'm gonna take like about a 15 to 20 minute power nap. So I'm gonna do that and then I will continue my study session later. Two hours later. So yeah, I overslept, so well, might as well just get back to work. <laughs> 
Okay, so here's my iPad and the document I have out for answering all the different practice questions in my cube app. So as you can see here, I've made a lot of mistakes in IM because I'm still early in the rotation and uh, there's still a lot of stuff that I don't know yet. But despite that, I'm still trying to get myself familiar and by answering these questions, I'm exposing myself to them early so I can learn about them in advance. So come exam time or if the a consultant asks me a question, I'll at least be able to be familiar with what they're asking me. So here I have my cue back. So today I answered questions 201 to 220 and I my goal is to uh, answer at least 20 of these questions every day and then after knowing which answers I got right and which ones I got wrong, I go to the explanations and then check why was the answer this answer so that I can make an Anki card out of it. For me, I think this is a very efficient way to study, especially in fields like medicine, because I think it's the best prepare for the exams, especially boards, and you want to be the most efficient possible when preparing, especially when you strap your time, because you have to balance doing this while going to the hospital. And although it might feel a little bit discouraging at first, because a lot of the time you're making more often than not more mistakes than correct answers you have to just trust the process that eventually as you reach uh, answering question number 400 and beyond you'll be able to answer more items correct rather than wrong and since these are just practice questions like there are no stakes involved you just simply practice and you're just preparing you for the real thing the board exam or the actual major exam at the end of the road which is what matters at the end of the day embrace making mistakes and embrace not knowing initially so that you can move on and try to learn from those mistakes so that come the actual exam where there's actual stakes involved you'll perform way better so that's it for the day in my life video if you want to see more content like this please make sure to subscribe because i'm planning on releasing more vlogs like this soon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video